tell you like me Come and I'll follow my lead I must be crazy, don't mind me Say, let's not talk too much Shame, sorry Hi guys, welcome back to my so we have finally reached 1000 subscribers let's clap Woo! guys congratulations to each and every one of you <laughs> you have finally managed to group yourselves to 1000 people thank you so much for doing this for me i really cannot express my gratitude and excitement so um I thought I would do a little catch up video because I have been AWOL from this channel for a very long time, but I'm done with exams now. So cheers to that. And um, hopefully I'll be more consistent. I don't want to make promises because I don't trust myself to be consistent. I am Mandy. <laughs> okay. So truthfully like a lot of you guys came through when i made this post shame yazi like that's so sweet of y'all um okay i found the questions and the first question says you're studying psychology i think what type of psychology are you studying um how is it going um oh what type of psychology are you studying okay yes i am studying psychology i'm in my second year of psychology well because i am still in undergrad it's still very general at this point like yeah so i i don't specialize yet um so i just finished my second year um what type of psychology like i said i don't specialize yet but i'm hoping to go into child psychology so there's educational psychology child psychology and hopefully working with autistic kids those are the three things that i'm hoping i do with my psychology degree that's if i end up even using this degree how's it going it's okay it's just that when i changed from accounting to psychology i didn't think it was still as westernized as it is honestly the psychology curriculum is not for the african context and a lot of the theories and a lot of the things that we study are like based on old white men that have died and their theories so a lot of it doesn't really apply to the south african context there is one module that i did though that at least it did apply to that but most of them know so it's a lot of theory that is kind of boring um someone said congratulations thank you omnia uti ndesatandwa na ndasayo and then um uh, someone asked me what keeps you motivated in life i think just like hope of a better future and also just knowing that because god put me on this earth he has a purpose for my life so i think that also is something that keeps me going and i mean like when you when you when you choose to be happy you will keep being motivated not so also like um the people in my life um make me want to keep living basically so yeah what does your dream home look like and consist of my dream home is big first of all secondly it's beautiful thirdly it's full of people and food yeah those are the things that it consists of so it has a lot of children in the house because i have a lot of children but then also all my children's friends want to come to my house because it's nice in my house you see <laughs> So, so it has a lot of people it has a lot of love it has a lot of food um yeah it has my mans it has um a duh. <laughs> that's what it has so it just like it's sort of like when you when you when you want someone to talk to when you want to eat when you want someone to pray with you when you want someone to listen to you you come to my house babes you come to my house that's where you come. So that's what my dream home looks like. And my Porsche Cayenne GTS is parked outside. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, how has the year been for you? Well, this year has been interesting. It has been hard. But also, it has come with a lot of blessings, I don't want to lie. So obviously, it's been a hard year for everyone because Corona. But besides that, like, I went through some 
horrible things um, during the year and also during the corona the corona lockdown period but also like i mean i accomplished some goals as well i met some amazing people some amazing situations started in my life um so it has had its ups and downs good and bad and now that it's coming to the end i'm realizing that it's actually like any other year it's just that there, were, there was one common disadvantage for everyone so i guess that's why and i think i'm blessed because um there were no deaths in my family so no one that i know very that's like very close to my heart passed away um i didn't attend like funerals of any loved ones so um yeah and this year gave me my little sister guys so i'm, I'm really i yeah it was a good year generally <laughs> um the next question says why are you papa so mad because why not why not um another question says why did you start a youtube channel i started a youtube channel because i was i think i wanted a creative space to to exhale to you know <laughs> to share so i yeah i started a youtube channel because it was at the end of a very difficult year of my, of my life when i started a youtube channel and i felt like why not you know my personality allows me to have one and um why else did i start a youtube channel i don't know but to share to meet some amazing people over the internet it's a nice creative space it's an awesome platform um and it could potentially be a money making platform so why not um this question says the most embarrassing habit that i have i laugh when i'm not supposed to and i laugh loudly and it's a very ugly laugh so i think that's the most embarrassing habit like it will be quiet and i'll think of something and then i'll laugh loudly <sighs> i don't like it sometimes sometimes <laughs> This question says no sex for a year or no alcohol for a year. I... And I say, the thing is, I don't participate in these sexual activities. <laughs> Mama, I don't know what sex is. <laughs> Look, guys, the safe answer is saying no sex for a year. You know why? Because I'm Christian, right? And I'm not supposed to be having sex. I'm not saying I am having sex, but I'm not supposed to be having sex, right? So being that I'm not married, it's good for me to not have sex for a year. You see, because bear for life, babes. <laughs> Did you freshen up, Bawa? <laughs> Um, this question says, how has COVID grown or challenged you as a person? Well, I didn't get sick from COVID, so thank God for that. Um, so I guess that has just showed me that, you know what, there can be a pandemic out there and God can keep, can, can like protect you still. Um, it has shown me that like, you know, we just need to be grateful for the little things, to be able to wake up every day and still be able to complete the things you want to do and still be able to live. You know, that's that's a blessing on its own because people were dying like flies. Hey, so I guess that has that sort of it has taught me to be grateful for the little things and also that life can change change like that yeah, life can change like this so everything can get stripped away from you you can lose your job you can lose your friends you can lose everything and what keeps you going when everything is gone and that was really hard for me because i am a very social person and i thrived from meeting my friends and going to social activities at church and fellowshipping in person so now having to watch videos in order to feel like i'm in church or like be on video calls all the time zoom calls attend classes all of that was just a lot for me and i'm one of the people that didn't really 
like um, adapt well to the whole virtual life during lockdown. Um, so it was it was really challenging for me, and because of that, I've I've sort of lost some people as well because <clears throat> so much growing happened not only in my life but in their lives as well, and so we sort of like outgrew each other, and it's okay, but um, it is what it is. So. It has grown me and it has challenged me and I now know that I now know the important things basically I hope I answered that question it's quite deep um how is the change of course going I love you and congratulations Aww, I love you too Mdase. um how is the course change going the course change is going well um I can now say well, I never reached this point of my previous degree, so, uh, yeah, so it's going well. I'm glad I changed. I would have been miserable had I stayed um, in accounting, um, so I can, it's going well. I'm going to be doing third year next year, and then I'll graduate, and then I'll be done with school for, for now, <laughs> so it's going well. I'm glad I changed. Yeah, I can do an in-depth video about that. So if you want to know more, you can let me know. Um, how is it going there by Mjolo? <laughs> Mjolo is good. Mjolo is nice. It's nice by Mjolo. Guys, it's nice. Oktanda. Noktandwa. You know? It's nice, man. It's nice. It's nice. It's different. It's unusual. You know? Go Nancy. <laughs> And I'm not going to say more about it, but yeah, it's, it's nice of Jola. It's nice being in a relationship. And that is it. The last one says, well done, mommy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And yeah, that's it. So thank you so much to everyone that sent me questions. Thank you so much to everyone that is subscribed. If you have watched this far and you're watching my celebration video and you haven't subscribed, what are you doing with your life? Just click the button over there. And um, that's it. So thank you so much, guys. I will soon be announcing the 1,000 subscriber giveaway. So look out for that. It will be sponsored by Zuri Crafts, my company. Um, uh, and yeah <laughs> so thank you so much i love you guys so so much may god bless you stay blessed stay beautiful Mwah!